I just have piles of hoodies. Like I have so many hoodies and I don't know what to do with myself. Hi, I'm Anna Shume. I'm here with Refinery29 and welcome to my dream digs. But wait, before you come in, let me get comfy. All right, come on in. Welcome to my room. <laughs> this is my closet and I have <laughs> color coordinated all of my hoodies. I have an obsession with hoodies. This is a pretty large collection. There's like over a hundred. This is the first time I've ever like put posters and pictures on my walls, but it, I feel like it just represents like who you are and your personality. I feel like Pinterest is your best like outlook, but otherwise it was just like, what are some things that I've always wanted to put in my room? I love music and I love posters and I love all this fun stuff. So I'm just gonna throw it up on the wall. We've got Jake from Adventure Time. I used to watch the show all the time. And that's one of my favorite artists, Frank Ocean. You probably know who Frank Ocean is. If you don't, take a listen. These you'll see all over. They're, I just ripped them out of books and they're like, like good sayings that you can just read and be like, hmm. I relate to that, you know? My best bedroom find is definitely my mirror. That mirror is like, my prize possession. This mirror that I'm standing in right now is the infamous mirror that all of my followers, fans, supporters, whatever you want to call them, they all know this mirror. I do create TikToks in my bedroom space. Sometimes I'll be in bed and I'll create them. I love to put my phone like right here and I shoot it this way because they get like the whole room. And if I want to do something like super funny, I have so much space to do something super funny. This is possibly one of my favorite things in the world. So it's a 365 jar. And one of my very best friends, Talia, she gave me this, there's a little description. This jar contains 365 notes just for you. And there's like a little key. She's a very big person in my life. Every time like me and my friends hang out or do something, I print out a bunch of these little Polaroids of maybe me and my friends or just me. Here we have the fake plants and one of my favorite smelling candles. Here's some more pictures of me and my friends. I just like to see like the things that I love. Like when you wake up in the morning or when you're going to bed, you're just like, ah, I love those people. Or like, ah, this is totally me. Like the posters and all that, it's pretty great. So if you notice, I, I don't have blinds. The no blinds is because I love the natural light. And when I wake up in the morning, I can actually wake up in the morning. Good smelling candle, Elmo, cause I think Elmo's really funny. And I also love Sesame Street. If my bedroom was like a character from a TV show or movie, I'm gonna go with SpongeBob just because he does what he wants and he does not care. This is my wonderful family. This is my mom, my stepdad, my older brother, and my really funny younger brother. This is my bookshelf. This is a nice little pride flag because you know, I am a part of the LGBTQ plus community. So gonna represent uh, me and my people. Last time I went home and visited my family, my little brother came home from school and he was like, I made this for you today. It says Anna with a heart and then he gave me bananas and he said it took him forever to get this to like stand up and he was really proud of it and then I almost cried. A little Star Wars, as you know, I, I love my Star Wars. My favorite one is Revenge of the Sith. So if you're wondering, it's that one. But we've got The Empire Strikes Back. It's like little CDs, you know, and you can play them. And it's also like a little book, pretty cool. My Nintendo Switch Lite. I used to play this all the time, like last year. And I think it's super fun because you can get really good at Mario Kart. Got a candle, a clock some film because I love my pictures. And then this little coach, ha 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 Snoopy bag is from my uncle. And essentially he gave that to me when I was super young, probably like 12 or 13. And because I was obsessed with Snoopy. So this is one of my best friends from back home. Her name's Amy with my little brother too. And this was our senior homecoming. My little brother is like basically in my friend group back home, which I think is really funny. 
So whenever like I hang out with them, he's always with us. And this dude is 10 years old now. This right here is like my child alongside with my dog. Another sentimental thing would be my film camera. It's pretty crazy because I've always loved photography, but I, I never did anything to like start that and like actually like take it seriously and take pictures and do what I want to do. And when I got that camera, I literally was like dumbfounded. These are my kryptonite. I just don't know what it is about these, but their pictures are so gosh dang good. This is baby Grogu. And it's huge and squishy and fun. It's like, how can you not love a giant stuffed animal? This wall's the, probably the most meaningful wall just because it's like most of my friends and then like the quotes and the artists, the artists like super like really impacted my life. So this one's like the more random wall, but it's like pretty things and I love it. My friends and family will be probably very surprised by all the posters we got going on here because it's just like I would never go out of my way and put those up back home. But here, it's like the creativity runs wild. We've got books. This top book right here is my journal. So that one never gets open to anyone else. I don't go out of my way to like tell other people my feelings. So this is a great escape to just go ham and write everything down. Now the rest are just like, books, whatever. Do I read them? Not really. Do I want to? Very badly. I have a thing where I want to do things a lot and then just never get to it. That's that. These are my drawings. Some cool dragons. There's something about drawing that's very therapeutic to me. It's like you're just in your own world for however long you're on working on this art piece. Then there's my bed. I think my favorite part of my bedroom is my bed. I love the corner of it because it's super cozy and I can like really snuggle up in there. The thing from my childhood that's in here is I have a hacky sack and I just love playing hacky sack with my mom. It's been in my room back home and here and I love it. Since I don't walk around in like my normal like outdoor shoes, I have a pair specifically for the indoors. They're my indoor shoes. These are the only shoes that are allowed on the carpet. This is my bathroom. The natural light still comes into the bathroom, so it's even better when I'm like getting ready. This is like my safe space because it's the room that makes me feel most me. I feel like being 19 years old and moving across the country is pretty hard. So having a space in your place that just feels, feels like you is really nice. Thanks for checking out my dream digs. Bye y'all.